The mortal from Castle Yolven. How vexing is it that you escaped? Your stubbornness is yet another irritation from you mortals. But it is the way of my kind to endure. It is not a quality we share. The bulk of my horde lies within, and I am eager that you might face it. But I am not reliant upon my spiders, nor am I unreasonable. I can see you are brutal in your own form. I offer amnesty in exchange for the lives of Kanarok. Oh, I had believed for a moment that you had some potential. Oh well, I lack the sympathy to kill you personally. You shall feed my guardian spiders after all. While they draw breath, none shall approach me. These walls obey my wishes. These spiders' lives are mine. Your way to me will be barred by root and fang.
And here you are yet again. I must say your hunger is great, unlike the fey I slaughtered at Castle Yolven. Now come, let us test ourselves against each other. I do not fear being cut down. I will rise again in time, unlike you.
done it. We owe you our lives and our livelihood. If not, we'd be food for spiders and the widow would be dancing on our remains. There is not enough gold to show our gratefulness. But this is what we can give. Take it, with our thanks. Be well. Yes? I have a moment I can spare. For you? Stay safe.
must forgive my lack of hospitality. The Maid of Windermere and her minions have left me in a bit of a situation. Preth and Aramur could offer no remedy, but perhaps your mortal ingenuity will prevail where others have failed. The Maid paid me a visit this past evening. She and her accomplice, Nyx the Troll, stole my most prized cairns. All that work, and for what? With what I know, I should have expected an attack. Even this imprisonment spell, it is the same she used in the Ballad of Two Knights and a Troll. I can't recall the counterspell, of course, as that cairn was stolen. You must get them back, mortal. All of them. Especially the one you came for. Her nearest lair is Sunder Caverns, where her minion Nyx makes his home. It is a craggy pit in Haxie, east. See you soon. Step with a light foot out there. Well done, friend. Well done indeed. I know in time the trolls will return, but at least now I can make it back to Shielder and keep with my head held high. Here, take this. It was Jewelry's sword. Broken now, but she might be mighty again if a skilled smith wants to make her so. It's what Jewelry would have wanted. I was unable to complete the contract, but since you have, you best get your own eye back to Shielder and keep and turn it in. Off with you then. Farewell. There's no need to stand around and gape. The last poor souls who tried it came to no good, did they? A shame. But profitable for you. Here's the pay. On with you.
Logris. You surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. But did Padaxes send you? Lysander, perhaps? Tell me! Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You act as though you're surprised to find me here. As if you weren't sent here to stop me. My pursuit. But you're too late. Even now my deathless servants rise from centuries of slumber. It is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? The Dominus of the Onyx Tower and the Magister of the Rose Court allied. Together. Impossible! I can't challenge the power of both my rivals. Not until I have amassed the full army promised in the scroll. This isn't over, mortal. I promise you! to see you made her out of there alive. We felt the earth shake and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much after all you've done, but we would like you to have it. Until later then. As the tree roots into the earth, the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, the birthing labors produce the foal. As the mantis climbs to his mate, the heart outstretched to her fair hand. As the hunter kills its prey, beside this hill he crafts from sand. <laughs>
Come for our sage crafting. I can help with that. Anything else? Speak with Gamian or U Udo. By Matharu, I am growing worried for Brother Felon. The day is come and gone, and he still has not returned. Killed? Oh dear. Well, he is with Matharu now. I hesitate to ask, but did you happen to take his prayer beads? Terrible if they were left to lie there with him. Why, yes, they are. And so he is dead then? Well, he has joined Bitharu. You should know we have a tradition. Rather than bury prayer beads, they are passed on to some other believer. Tell me, do you adhere to Matharu's creed? To honor and uphold the forces of order and good. Our religious mission is to see chaos and suffering laid low beneath Matharu's hammer. You have acted well and honorably thus far. It would be wrong of me to distrust you now. Mithari is not a jealous power. You are still a child of order if you do good. Keep the beads and do as I tell you. At each mission, Odwig's, Edric's and our own, there is a special shrine to Mitharu. Go you and pray at each one and the power of Mitharu will grant your beads great and greater strength. Pray at the shrines of St. Edric's and Odwig's and before this very mission. At each one you pray, the beads will be improved. Mitharu watch and guide you always. What brings you to our humble mission? You have heard of our remarkable shards and gems, perhaps? Ah, a follower of the great order of the world. You are, of course, welcome to our humble mission, and all of Mitharu's homes. <laughs> 